Hello guys, uh, today we're going to do a quick UDK tutorial on how to create a top-down view for your of your character. Um, the first thing you're going to need is to have a player start on your level. You can get a player start by right-clicking, coming down to Add Actor and Player Start. I already have one added here. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is a camera actor. and To get one of those, you're going to come into the content browser here. Go to Actor Classes, come down into Common, and it's there, Camera Actor. Just click on it and drag it in. I'm just going to bring this into a relative location. There, that's about right. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is to create object variables for both of these in Kismet. And I'll show you how to do that now. Open Kismet and just drag it to the side here. Select, uh, start with your player start and just right click in Kismet and come down here new object variable. And then click on your camera and do the same. This is just uh, to have them in here for later. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to drop in is the uh, is a player spawn block. Uh, we can get that by right clicking, coming to new event, coming down to player and player spawn. Uh, next thing we do is we attach the spawn point to the uh, player start that we added earlier or should have had pre-added. And now we will attach this to uh, an attach to actor block. Uh, we get that by right clicking, new action, actor, and coming down to attach to actor. Let's just connect that up now. And uh, you want to target the player with the attach to actor, and you want to target, and you want to attach the camera to them. So we're just going to attach to the camera. And uh, we don't have anything that represents the player yet, so we'll get something to do that by right clicking, coming to new variable player and player. Uh, you're going to want to go down to the properties here and uncheck all players so it only will affect the spawned player, the player spawned at this point. Uh, another thing that you're going to want to do is also to click on the player spawned and come down here into the max trigger count and set that to zero. Okay so we're also going to need to set the camera target uh, and to do that we right click new action come down to camera, come down here to set camera target, connect this up here and connect the target as the player and the cam target as the camera and that's actually all the uh, kismet that we really need. Uh, just the last thing is to click on your attached to actor, uh, scroll down in its properties and uh, click on use relative offset and scroll down a bit more and use relative rotation. Uh, for the use relative offset you're going to want to change this Z value here, you're going to want to change that to about 512. You're also going to want to change the yaw, the pitch or the roll uh, relative to how you want the camera to appear. I'm just going to change the pitch to minus 90 or 270 is a the alternative. I'm just going to put it to 270. Sometimes it, uh, the UDK messes up when you put in minus values. Okay, so that's actually everything we need to do in Kismet. So we can actually just close this down. Now before I try this out, um, you're going to want to set a game mode because your character will not actually be visible if you don't have a game mode. So you're going to want to go to View, World Properties, come down here to Game Type. You can see your default game mode is None. You're going to set that to UT Game and you're going to set this to UT Deathmatch. Okay, so we're ready to go. We just hit uh, the Play button and there we are. We have a top-down view of our character. Uh, one thing to note is that the aiming reticule doesn't actually seem to work that well in the top-down view so it's best to use something like this for a maze where the character doesn't have a gun or just a cinematic view anyway thank you guys for watching and please check out more videos on the online design teacher youtube channel